This is a virtual tour of the Arecibo Radio Telescope platform in Gregorian Dome. Today, we'll be going to the dome with engineers Dana and Ganesh to check the receiver amplifiers and cryogenic temperatures before the observing begins for the evening. We begin the tour by boarding the cable car, which runs from the telescope control building to the top of the platform. Last time I came up here, one of the uh, mm -hmm. rigging crew was up there, and he was sitting right at the spot, right at the top of the Looking behind us from the cable car, you can see the visitor's center at the top of the hill, and the cable car house, telescope control room, and scientist offices at the bottom. The telescope platform consists of the triangle, the superstructure supported by three pillars situated around the circumference of the telescope, and the azimuth arm, which carries the radar emitters and radio detectors contained in the carriage house and the Gregorian dome. The azimuth arm swings around, and the dome and carriage house slide along it in order to position detectors to within millimeter precision in order to point the telescope. The dome is the size of a six-story building. Can be heard by anyone who cares, anywhere in the universe. See? Maybe five. Well, if they happen to be in the beam. Yeah. I mean, the 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 ET, wherever they exist, they can say hello. Yeah. That, that that that's the only thing they will see, right? I mean, from our pretty much pretty much from our planet. Since our radar. The top of the triangle, 500 feet above the largest telescope reflector in the world, provides a panoramic view of the island of Puerto Rico and the ocean beyond. To get to the detector room, we must walk down a flight of steps to the movable joint which pivots the azimuth arm, through it, and then along the azimuth arm to the roof of the dome.
this one has a nicer step in place. Oh. This is the azimuth arm, which rotates to point the telescope. We're on the roof of the Gregorian Dome, which also must move along the tracks in the azimuth arm as the telescope points. A warning chirp alerts workers that the telescope is slowing. One more flight of steps until we are inside the dome. On this landing, we get a good view of the carriage house and 430 MHz line feed, an extremely long antenna required because of the spherical shape of the telescope creates a line of focus rather than a point. Inside the dome, this defect in focus is corrected by the secondary and tertiary reflectors, which collect the radiation from the telescope dish, focus it to a point which is directly below the receiver room. A rotating floor in the receiver room is used to position the desired receiver over the focal point. The sounds in the receiver room are cryogenic pumps, keeping the equipment at a cool 15 degrees above absolute zero. Hello? Have you stood on your head yet? Not yet, but I will. We'll have to get a movie of that. Okay. <laughs>